Seth, good evening. Let's first break down who this will be impacting. These new relaxed guidelines are not for the general population. Instead, they're for those who are fully vaccinated and now have some level of immunity against this potentially deadly virus. As more Americans are vaccinated, a growing body of evidence now tells us that there are some activities that fully vaccinated people can resume at low risk to themselves. Turning a corner on the pandemic, the CDC is now relaxing its guidelines for a select portion of the population. These new guidelines only apply to private settings where everyone is vaccinated. Health leaders in El Paso break down what this means. I take the news cautiously optimistic in, in the sense that it is important that we have a more normal activities, but more important is to make sure that we don't lose the perspective of what is it that these recommendations really mean. Meaning this only applies to those who have waited at least two weeks since their final dose, whether it be the Moderna, Pfizer or Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Meaning those fully vaccinated can exercise more freedom. The news comes after 59 million people in the U.S. have received at least one dose of the vaccine. If uh, you have uh, a single household interaction on a regular basis, let's say you have your family member that you visit and this individual is not high risk, you can go and visit them without wearing a mask and without social distancing. For local dance instructor Roberto Iruegas, this means he is one step closer to reuniting with his students he instructed more than a year ago. My biggest wish is getting all of us back together. For me, as their instructor, it brings me a lot of joy getting together with them and getting back to dancing. The CDC is still recommending that the general public continue to wear their face mask when outside and not in their home. Now, uh, that is because only 9% of the U.S. has been vaccinated so far. Researchers believe that it will take at least 70% of the general population getting vaccinated before we can even start talking about reaching herd immunity. That's why if you're going to be heading outside or going into any stores, you're still recommended to be wearing that face mask. Reporting live near downtown El Paso, Jason Navarrete. ABC 7.